with CNA equal to 7.06 inches, I can now calculate my nominal moment strength using moment equilibrium. And what I want to do is go back, take a look at this drawing right here, our stress force profile. And this MN is really kind of being represented on the left side of the section line, if you will, this vertical line. And if I take moments about any point, I can solve for MN. And so if I take, in this case, I'll take moments about the compression force resultant, which is right here. And the thing you have to remember is that this distance, these arms, I have to know the distances of the forces to the point where I am taking moments about. And this distance right here, based on my drawing, is y bar minus d prime. This distance I've already established is d minus y bar. And then mn is just a moment, which will throw up, get thrown into the equation. So that when I take moments about the compression force resultant, and I will say that this direction going counterclockwise is positive, I would get minus mn plus cs prime times y bar minus d prime plus ts times d minus y bar is equal to zero. Great. So that means if I solve for mn, and I know from the equivalent stress block that y bar, because it's a rectangular stress block, is just equal to a over 2. The centroid of the force resultant is at a over 2. And here, I think that's it. I just need to substitute for force values, right? And so here, let's just go ahead and do that. This mn in equation form is AS prime times ES times the strain in the co in the compression steel times Y bar which is A over 2 minus D prime plus ASFY which is the force in the tension steel times D minus A over 2 and if I substitute numbers here again Y bar equals A over 2 and A is equal to beta 1 times CNA and so now if you plug and chug and solve this nominal moment we get is 690.1 kip feet. And don't forget with these numbers you got to convert the inches into feet, right? And so that's, you know, 1 foot equals every 12 inches. Hopefully I didn't need to tell you that. All right. So here this is my nominal moment and now we can determine our design moment strength phi mn and phi is our strength reduction factor which depends on the strain in the tensile reinforcement and in this case epsilon s is equal to 0 0.008 and according to the ACI code if the strain in the steel is greater than or equal to 0 0.005 then we are allowed to use a strength reduction factor of 0.9 so phi times mn is equal to 0 0.9 times 690.1 kip feet, which gives me 621.1 kip feet. And that is my design moment strength. All right, so hopefully this was enjoyable. And let me know if you have any questions. See ya.